Energy money is the catalyst and tip of the spear for an intelligent sentient species transition from a Type 0 into a Type 1 civilization on the Kardashev scale, which measures the energy and technological mastery of a society. All intelligent sentient species are on this path, whether consciously or unconsciously, and must reach this point before they are eliminated by 1. One or a series of megalomaniacs pushing the red button. 2. Some artificial abomination of intelligence that interprets our poor behavior and thus biological life as inferior. 3. An asteroid. 4. Or the fiat-funded, sterile authoritarian gulags they build on their quest for centralized, efficient utopias. Energy money initiates a step change in how organic intelligence can operate and forms a critical step on the journey beyond the great filter. If you are enjoying this film, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more. The Fermi Paradox is the term used to describe this lack of evidence for extraterrestrial life in the face of a universe that should be, by the numbers, bursting with it. In the 1990s, Robin Hansen postulated a theory that has become known as the Great Filter. The Great Filter theory suggests that intelligent sentient life forms must realize a series of critical steps on their way to becoming an interstellar race, and at least one of them must be highly improbable, or their interrelated path-dependent nature means that they must occur in a particular order and must all happen before a major cataclysm. Hansen suggested some basic hurdles or steps paraphrased below. 1. A planet capable of harboring life must form in the habitable zone around a star, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone. 2. Life itself must emerge. 3. Those life forms must be able to reproduce, for example, RNA, then DNA in our case. 4. Simple cells, prokaryotes, must evolve into more complex cells, eukaryotes. 5. Multicellular organisms must develop. 6. A method of increasing genetic diversity, for example, sexual reproduction in our case, must take hold. 7. Complex organisms must evolve into a species capable of repeatedly transforming potential energy into kinetic energy, capable of using tools. 8. The complex tool-wielding species must discover fire, heat energy, thus shortening their intestinal tract and redirecting energy toward the brain. 9. The increased brain size of this species and the interconnectedness of neurons must reach a point where consciousness emerges and they are able to communicate on abstract terms. 10. This species must develop a tool for measuring time, energy and scarce resources, enabling them to cooperate and coordinate across space and time. 11. The species using this technology must develop complex societies that culminate into the advanced technologies required for space travel. 12. The species must discover and transition onto an energy money standard before it destroys itself. 13. The spacefaring species can finally master and harness the energy of their star system and then go on to colonize other worlds and star systems. I am convinced step 12 is not only the one most missing from any analysis by physicists all throughout history, but it is the most important and difficult to achieve in light of the technological advancements of an intelligent species and its propensity to want to control the uncontrollable. Physicists have mastered the empirical study of matter and through that success have forgotten to account for the very real and very significant complex random process of life, humanity perhaps being at the tip of this process. As a result, they blindly believe that we can just fit reality into a series of models or equations and as such, engineer our way through the great filter without accounting for the complex nature of human consciousness and intersubjective reality. Welcome to Bit Intelligence. We produce documentaries that delve into the profound impact of Bitcoin on our modern world. Our films are grounded in some of the most impactful books, articles, and in-depth interviews coming from the Bitcoin space. Our aim is to educate a wider audience about the ever-growing impact of this remarkable technology. Follow us on this journey, and bit by bit, film by film, you will gain an incredible insight into the past, present, and future of money, government, economics, and human civilization.
In our dimension and in our timeline, we've had warnings from both sides of the academic spectrum, from Newton to Einstein, Huxley to Orwell, Nietzsche to Rand and Schopenhauer to Oppenheimer. They've all reminded us that false actions, arrogance and flying with wax wings can only lead to disaster. Unfortunately, modernity's vanity and desire for comfort and control, all which stem from its collective fear, have conspired to drown out those voices of reason and replace them with a never-ending stream of meaningless noise. In a bid to control everything, fearful humans and the institutions they make up seek to sterilize the variance and randomness out of life so they can reduce it to a set of repeatable empirical processes. They abstract everything to the point that things are neither physical nor metaphysical and everything is relative. Only then can they feel empty enough to be comfortable. Huxley explores this phenomenon in Brave New World Revisited, a series of essays written 27 years after his seminal novel by the same name. The blind pursuit of sterile empirical ends at the expense of life, at the hands of collectivist megalomaniacs, is humanity's greatest threat, and the only way to fix that is to reintroduce consequence to human action. To fix this, the map must accurately represent the territory so we're all playing the same game, by the same rules. When you finally become powerful enough to enslave, obsolete or blow yourself up, perhaps an asteroid is the universe's way of pressing the cosmic reset button. The discovery of energy money marks the point at which the science of matter is able to speak to the study of what matters. In this way, it enables, if not a unification, at least a direct relationship between physics and metaphysics. I call it energy money, not because it's some literal battery that's storing energy in containers full of miners. I call it energy money because it's the only form of scorecard, money, whose validity is priced in actual energy expenditure. The feedback loops between the cost of validation, the risk of fraud, and the demand in the market by humans seeking to cooperate on a functional standard all tie into work. When resources, energy expenditure and the input of time are tethered to something that cannot be faked, co-opted or cheated, we begin to discover once again what things actually cost. And as such, we as individuals and societies can make more accurate value judgments. Without something like Bitcoin, intelligent sentient species cannot utilize their resources effectively or efficiently enough to become a meaningfully spacefaring species before wiping themselves out. They cannot reach the point of energy mastery required to actually reach for the stars because 99% of what they do is wasted. Reconciling physics and metaphysics means an intelligent sentient species can make accurate value judgments and thus precisely measure and use the scarce resources it has toward maximizing energy output and minimizing time wastage. Without such a high fidelity transmission mechanism, the quantum wastage is not only too high but completely unknown. As a result, the road to serfdom via the knee-jerk reaction to control it all will prevail. Bitcoin fixes this. Many, including myself, have called Bitcoin the second renaissance. By tying the physical to the metaphysical, Bitcoin reunites matter to what matters. As such, it has the capacity to heal the world in the most deep and meaningful of ways. This is both right and wrong. Right because Bitcoin will do this, and we will experience a renaissance of thinking, creativity, science, art, exploration, philosophy, and more. Wrong because it diminishes the magnitude of this discovery, it implies that it is another cyclical event similar to the Renaissance of yore. The reality is far more grandiose. If you're enjoying this content and want to stay up to date with our latest videos, please hit the like button and subscribe for more documentaries on Bitcoin. I would venture to say that every major enlightenment event along our time chain of human history was a pre-echo of sorts culminating in Bitcoin. Whether it's the legends of Atlantis, the philosophy of the ancients, the gods of Egypt, the rise of Christianity, the Renaissance, the Age of Enlightenment or the Industrial Revolution, they all represent life reaching for this point of Aufklärung through the vessel of humanity. This may be the first or millionth attempt at crossing the Great Filter, and I cannot but find myself in awe of the sheer gravity of this moment.
An incorruptible fixed supply of money is as close to perfect not because of the number of transactions per second it enables, but because of how closely it resembles or embodies the physical laws of nature and the universe, by enabling humans to effectively measure, manage and transact the product of their labor. It means value can be created, transformed and transmitted with minimal distortion, and it trends toward the elimination of waste and falsehoods. One cannot celebrate fake facts in the face of an economic reality tied to the physical laws of thermodynamics. On a sound foundation, we can know what things truly cost, and we can make accurate value judgments in order to engineer and innovate our way forward. With Bitcoin, the next chapter in humanity's timeline can truly commence. Consequences are inescapable, and risk can no longer be hidden. Everyone's skin is now in the game, and we all play by the same rules. This framework unifies matter and what matters. The study of what matters, the pursuit of truth, of principles and of meaning, can once again be anchored to reality, and vice versa. This will have profound implications for humanity, and marks what may be the most important fork in the road since Homo sapiens separated from other hominids. Bitcoin fixes this means we fix the money, to fix human behavior, to fix the world in time to progress beyond the Great Filter. Thanks for making it until the end. We are Bit Intelligence. If you enjoyed this documentary, please like it, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified about more documentaries every week.